Corsican nationalism is a nationalist movement in Corsica, France, active since the 1960s, that advocates more autonomy for the island, if not outright independence. Political support The main separatist party Corsica Libera achieved 9.85% of votes in the French regional elections, 2010, however, only 19% and 42% of those who voted respectively for Simeone's autonomist list FEMU a Corsica and Talimoni's separatist Corsica Libera were, according to polling, in favour of independence. By 2012, polls showed support for independence at 10-15%, while support for increased devolution within France was as high as 51%, of which two-thirds would prefer slightly more rather than much more autonomy. Among the general French population, 30% of respondents expressed a favorable view on Corsican independence. In what was viewed as a setback, for Nicolas Sarkozy's decentralization program, the government's proposal for increased autonomy for Corsica was turned down in a referendum in 2003 by a result of 51% negative and 49% affirmative votes expressed by the local electorate. In 2015, Giles Simeone's pro-autonomy coalition Pay a Corsica won for the first time ever in the French regional elections, getting 35.34% of the vote and 24 out of 51 seats in the Corsican Assembly. History The Corsican Republic A sense of Corsican particularity can be traced back to the mid-18th century, when the island was fought over by the Genoese Republic, the Kingdom of France, and the Kingdom of England. Pasquale Paoli led a rebellion by Corsicans against the various foreign powers contesting the island, founding a short-lived independent state governed from Corte. Inspired by the Enlightenment political ideas currently becoming fashionable in Europe, Paoli set up a liberal constitutional republic, a deliberative assembly, the Diet, was elected through universal manhood suffrage, with evidence to suggest that female suffrage also existed. Pauli's practical exercise in enlightened constitutional government was inspired by thinkers such as Voltaire and Rousseau, but also in turn inspired them, being the sole example of their political philosophies put into practice until the American Revolution a decade later. The French conquest of 1767 put an end to the experiment with the exception of a brief English-governed separation from France during the French Revolutionary Wars, and the island was incorporated into the Kingdom of France. The memory of the brief period of self-rule would act as an inspiration to later regionalist and nationalist movements, even as many among Corsica's educated elites accepted a place in the French state, with Napoleon Bonaparte becoming the French head of state less than 30 years after the island was conquered by France. The fin de siècle and the interwar As with most European national separatist movements, the 1890s saw the first stirrings of a consciousness of a distinct regional way of life, and the first ideas that regional culture should be reflected in distinct political institutions. With Corsica in an agricultural depression, misruled by powerful local political bosses, subject to mass emigration devastating rural communities, and increasingly confronted by the culture of the French state which was encouraging cultural assimilation and administrative centralization, through the establishment of the countrywide laic school system, stirrings began of a movement to defend the Corsican language and way of life. The first group to do so formed in 1896 around the newspaper La Tramontana beyond the mountains, but this small group of intellectuals remained a minority within the political landscape of the time. A new generation carried the torch with the foundation of a CISPRA newspaper in 1914, which made the first demands for a Corsican political separatism. Corsica is not a department of France. It is a nation that has been conquered and will rise again. It was World War I that generated an audience for these previously marginal ideas. 
Conscription affected agrarian communities more than industrial ones, and the death toll for France's rural regions was consequently higher than the national average, with Corsica the department with the highest ratio of casualties per capita. The trauma of losing a dozen young men in a small village caused many Corsicans to begin to question the French state. For some this prompted a desire for greater administrative decentralization within the French Republic this was the focus of the Estates General of Corsica, a 1934 conference held in Ajaccio, for a few, it triggered a desire to work towards an independent Corsican state, and for yet others it, along with the perception that neighboring Italy was being regenerated under a dynamic modern regime, prompted a desire to integrate into fascist Italy. These different ideas were centered on the Corsican nationalist newspaper A Mouvre, the Mouflon. Hostility to the French state grew following military operations on the island in 1930 to root out the popular bandit. Spada.1923 saw the foundation of the Partito Corsa d'Azioni, under the leadership of Petru Rocca, an Italian irredentist who initially promoted the Union of Corsica to the Kingdom of Italy, and Pierre Dominique, a prominent political journalist who soon after joined France's ruling centre left Radical Socialist Party. World War II modified this sentiment, as Italian troops occupied the island. After the war, the sentiment evolved in favor of promoting change to promote Corsican decentralization, via the new Partito Corsa Autonomista. Rocca in 1953 demanded from France the acceptance of the Corsican people and language and the creation of the University of Corte. Corsican nationalism was a minority movement during these decades, and many Corsicans participated in the French state as administrators, soldiers, policemen and several cabinet ministers. Indeed during the interwar some of the most prominent political figures within France's countrywide political organizations were Corsicans see Jean Kiap, Horace Carbuccia, François Pietri, César Campinchi, Gabriel Perry. However, the work of the smaller intellectual, cultural and political groups formed the prehistory to the modern nationalist movement that would find a mass audience after the political crisis of 1958. Corsica in the 1960s The end of the 1950s saw the high point of Corsica's population and economy. Since the end of the 19th century, Corsica had continued to decrease in population, culminating in a precarious economic situation and a huge delay in the development of industry and infrastructure. Corsican society was then further affected by two events. The first was the collapse of the French colonial empire. The colonial army and colonial enterprises were the principal form of employment for Corsicans. In 1920, Corsicans made up 20% of colonial administration, despite only making up 1% of metropolitan France's population. The end of colonialism deprived young Corsicans of the opportunities of their elders and forced many to return to the island. This situation resulted in the emergence of a regionalist movement with the objective of increasing the number of opportunities for the islanders. During the uprisings in Algeria in 1958 and 1961, Corsica was the only French department that joined the insurgent colonists. The second shock was the arrival of people returning from the former African colonies, to whom the state controversially granted land in the Eastern Plain. At the beginning of the 1960s, before the arrival of returnees from Algeria, they represented around 10% of the island's population. Topic. Origins of the modern regionalist movement Many Corsicans began to become aware of the demographic decline and economic collapse of the island. The first movement appeared as the Corsican Regional Front, a group largely formed by Corsican emigrants in Paris. This evolved into Corsican regionalist action, which demanded that the French state take into account the island's economic difficulties and distinct cultural characteristics, notably linguistic, greatly endangered by the demographic decline and economic difficulty. These movements caused a major revival of the Corsican language, and an increase in work to protect and promote Corsican cultural traditions. But these movements felt that their demands were being ignored and saw the state's treatment of the returnees as a sign of contempt. They argued against the idea that Corsica was made up of virgin land, where there is no need to consult the local population on repatriation, and criticized the financial support and aid received by the new arrivals through the Society for Agricultural Development of Corsica SOMIVAC, which had never been offered to the Corsicans. Topic. 
Topic: The Alleria Incident and the Birth of the FLNC. In a situation that many considered dire, the group Corsican Regionalist Action (ARC) decided to choose more radical methods of action. On 21 August 1975, 20 members of the ARC, led by the group's leader Edmund Simeone, occupied the Depe Cave, in the eastern plains near Alleria. Equipped with rifles and machine guns, they wanted to bring to public attention the economic situation of the island, particularly that regarding agriculture. They denounced the takeover of lands in the east of the island by Pieds Noirs and their families. The French interior minister at the time, Michel Poniatowski, sent 2,000 CRS and gendarmes backed with light armored vehicles, and ordered an attack on the 22nd at 4 p.m. Two gendarmes were killed during the confrontation. A week later the cabinet ordered the dissolution of the Arc. The tension rose rapidly in Bastia and scuffles broke out in the late afternoon, which turned to riots by nightfall that included armed confrontation. One member of the Arc was killed and many were wounded. On 4 May 1976, some months after the events in Alleria, nationalist militants founded the National Liberation Front of Corsica FLNC, a joining of Front Paisanu di Librazone di a Corsica FPCL, responsible for the bombing of a polluting Italian boat, and Giustizia Paulina, reputed to be the armed wing of the ARC. The founding of this new group was marked by a series of bombings in Corsica and in mainland France. A press conference was held in Casabianca, the location of the signing of the Corsican Constitution and where Pasquale Paoli declared Corsican independence in 1755. Although claiming to be influenced by Marxist ideology, most separatist leaders have been from the nationalist right or apolitical backgrounds. <laughs> Themes of Corsican nationalism Political sovereignty of Corsica, independence from France or increased autonomy in France. Separation from France is partially based on cultural and ethnic differences between the island and the mainland. The imposition of a revolutionary tax was practiced in the 1980s, and continues to be imposed by the FLNC, or people claiming to be associated with it. The bombings against state buildings have been constant, attacks against prefectures, prisons, tax offices, military camps, the assassination of Claude Arignac, etc. But greater in number are the bombings of second homes belonging to foreigners and mainlanders. The promotion of the Corsican language, and its compulsory teaching in schools. The limiting of tourist infrastructure and policies promoting tourism, and in its place another way to boost economic development. Compliance with building permits. Compliance with coastal law. Recognition of political prisoner status for imprisoned members of the FLNC, including those who have been convicted for common law violations. Topic: <laughs> Corsican nationalism and international investment. The Corsican coast is less developed than mainland France's Mediterranean coast, due in part to bombings attributed to the nationalist movement against a number of second homes belonging to non-natives, U Renovu, a Corsican nationalist movement commonly referred to as being close to a splinter group of the FLNC known as of the 22nd of October, describes the construction of second homes for the benefit of non-residents as heresy and against economic sense. The slogan Vergogna a te kai vendia te terra, shame on you who sell your land, is also the title of a song and nationalist anthem. At the Matignon process under the Jospin government, Article 12 of the Matignon Accords provided for an adjustment of the coastal law making it easier to issue building permits on the Corsican coast. On the day of the discussion of this article in the Corsican Assembly, activists from the organization A Manca Nazionale surrounded the villa of André Tarallo of the French petroleum company Elf Aquitaine in Piantaretta, against the granting of contested building permits. The article was subsequently rejected. <laughs> Notable people and parties Parties Pia Corsica political party FLNC militant group Party of the Corsican Nation political party A Kunkulta Nazionalista militant group defunct Peopleo Battisti B 1953 
Ivan Colonna B. 1960. Gilbert Casanova, founder of the Movement for Self-Determination and ex-president of the Course du Sud Chamber of Commerce, imprisoned in 2008 for drug trafficking. Giles Simeone, B. 1967. Napoleon, French military and political leader was a passionate Corsican nationalist in his younger years. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Jean-Louis Andriani, Comprendre la Corse, Gallimard, 2005 Daniel Arnaud, La Corse et la des Républicaines, L'Armaton, 2006 Emmanuel Barnabéu Casanova, Le Nationalisme Corse, Genèse, Succès et Achets, L'Armaton Ange Laurent Bindi, Autonomise me. Lutz d'émancipation en Corse et ailleurs 1984-1989, L'Armaton Gabriel Xavier Cuglioli, La Complexe Course, Gallimard Marc de Courset, Course, La Fan des Mythes, L'Armaton Pascal Iris Torza, La Gepier Course, Fayard, 1999 Marianne Lefebvre, Géopolitique de la Course. Le Modèle Républicain en Question, L'Armaton Jean-Michel Rossi, François Santoni, Pour Soldat de Tout Compte, Les Nationalistes Courses Parlant, Denoël Pierre Pagioli, Journal de Bord d'une Nationaliste Course, Editions de Lobby, 1996 Pierre Pagioli, Course, Chronique d'une île d'Acre 1996-1999, L'Armaton, 1999 Pierre Pagioli, Derrière les Cagoules, La FLNC des années 80, DCL Editions Edmond Simeone, Course, La Volante d'Etre. Vinct ans après Alaria, Albiana Bernardi Fabrice, Course, La Croise des Chemins, L'Armaton, 1989.